Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number six. This video log is going to be about um, an email that I got from an observatory and the reason I got in touch with this observatory was because of yet another Facebook um, debate. So whilst debating with a good friend of mine, one of his contacts, friends, I think he's a work colleague, um, piped up in regards to, uh, I can't actually remember the topic and how it started, but it was in regards to the lunar rover. And he essentially said that he could or had seen the lunar rover uh, on the surface of the moon from an observatory called Goon Hilly, which is in Cornwall. And my reaction was simple, fantastic news. I can go back to normal life if I can see this rover. If you can see it, I can see it. So I got in touch um, with the observatory and the visitor centre was being overhauled, so they weren't actually open. Um, but I got a, a contact email address and about uh, a week ago I sent them off an email. I'll just read that email to you. Um, Dear Sir or Madame, I am writing to see if you can help me regarding the ongoing debate about the equipment left on the surface of the moon following the Apollo landings. It is my understanding that the rover cannot be seen with a domestic telescope. I would like to dispel the theory that the world in which we live is a flat plane. I feel that if I can see the equipment on the moon with my own eyes, I can go back to living a normal life and stop making flat earth videos. I'm certain this debate can be put to bed with the help of Goon Hilly. I look forward to hearing from you. So that was about a week ago and essentially the conversation on Facebook drew to a close. And then yesterday I got a reply, which was um, interesting to say the least. I'll read the reply. Nathan, the moon is approximately 400,000 kilometers from Earth. That's four million meters. The rover is approximately two meters across. That's a ratio of two million to one. 360 degrees divided by 2 million equals 0 0.0000018 degree. That's 0 0.0065 arc second. The angular resolution of the Hubble Space Telescope is about 0 0.05 arc second. So you wouldn't even see the rover using the Hubble. I don't think you'll be able to see it, therefore, with any Earth-based telescope. And then the last bit is the most important. But it is there! Exclamation mark. The Goon Hilly team. So, after getting this, I sent it on to Mark Sargent. Hopefully he'll put it in one of his videos and give me a mention. Um, but if he doesn't, it's an interesting point. I was stumped when somebody said they'd seen the lunar, lunar rover uh, up on the moon at an observatory. My first question to him on Facebook was, did you see it through a lens? And his reaction was pretty straightforward. No, I saw it on a monitor. But when I got this email, it immediately made me think, well, he saw something, something enough to make him want to pipe up on his, on his face, uh, my friend's Facebook feed to say that he had seen it. So he was convinced enough of what was on that monitor when he was at Goon Hilly to say, I saw the lunar rover. Now, Goon Hilly make it quite clear, you can't ever see the rover. You're never going to see it, it doesn't matter how good your telescope is. Even if you had Hubble pointing at it, you can't see it. But it is there. I've been Nathan Oakley, I'll see you in the next one.